Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be doing a temporary tattoo comparison. So I'm going to be comparing £1 temporary tattoos to £30 temporary tattoos. And here are the tattoos. These are the ones I got from Amazon. And it's actually a lie. I'm actually, this, these weren't a pound, but I reckon if they were in like a shop, I would have probably paid a pound for them because obviously Amazon do rank ramp up their prices sometimes to like get the um the money also they have to pay for shipping and stuff let's just say these were a pound these were three pounds um i think that was including shipping so i couldn't find any one pound tattoos but i know you can get them so you know and then i also got this so this is from inkbox this is a tattoo which i think is from made of like henna it's like a henna tattoo it's a natural tattoo i think it says what does it say it from a plant extract so it is very safe to use oh it's from canada yes girl yes didn't know it's from canada i saw this ink box advert oh my god so many blooming times on my instagram even before i looked at this website i saw these people like reviewing them and i saw the advert like spamming my instagram and i thought you know what that actually be a really cool video normally i'm kind of peeved at all the adverts that i get on my instagram but a lot of the time they are like you know they watch you and they think that girl needs some tattoos obviously i need some tattoos and just bear in mind that i actually have no tattoos never got one before and i'm kind of scared of the commitment so what these things are good for they last two weeks and these ones tattoo may last for five days or more if transferred correctly so five days two weeks <laughs> you can see the difference do a tattoo on one arm of the one pound one and on my other arm i'm going to do the um ink box one so this one actually probably going to put on my left arm because i prefer it on my left arm don't know why just do so you can get so many tattoos it is in canadian dollars i reckon it is because it's from canada so i reckon it would be canadian dollars the tattoo that i bought was about 17 pounds well so actually okay let's get this right 17 dollars plus nine pound shipping and if you sign up, I actually got an email saying you could get free shipping. I don't know if it's just making an account or actually signing up. So, but there is a chance that you could get a discount. So if you want to purchase more of these, then there will be discounts in the future. This has all the stuff that you need in it. You don't, I don't think you need water. It says like an alcohol wipe and stuff. So it's got everything you need in this box. You can get so many different designs. The design that I got, you'll see in a minute, it was just of the word love. But I wanted to get one that looked more like pretty. I didn't want it to look like tacky or kind of like... I don't know, like you picked it last minute. I want to get a really pretty one that means quite a lot. And there was one that said smile in really pretty lettering. I wanted to get something quite spiritual because I'm quite a spiritual person. I wanted to get like chakras or the word om. But I prefer love because it's kind of like whenever I look at it, you know, I'm indecisive. See, this is why I would not get a real tattoo. Maybe after this I will get a real tattoo. But yeah, if you're watching this and you want to get a tattoo, then I would recommend trying out these. But you get these bottles separately. You can buy them separately. You can draw on it on your arm. And obviously it lasts two weeks, so it's not going to be permanent. So as you can see, these tattoos are not like really cheap looking. They're not those like kiddie ones. So they've got loads of different ones, which is really pretty just got to decide which one I want to use right so in this kit you have the tattoo the instruction card a pre-moistened cloth alcohol wipe and a black tattoo glove we worked with these local tribes to bring this ancient form of tattooing into the future we call it ink box cool I love stuff like this even though it was an advert and it was kind of advertised to me and said this isn't sponsored and I did pay for all this myself I just think this is such a cool idea I'm actually really scared because this, this glove kind of freaks me out a little bit because it means it's getting serious <laughs> Oh, <laughs> serious as that gets. Read the full instructions on the back and watch the application video before starting. I actually have watched the video because it's been all over my feed. But what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be a video over a few weeks and I'm gonna tell you, update you how it goes. So we're just gonna start the application and then we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, I love this. Right, it says advanced tips, which is actually really funny. It says, because people worry about like the hair because obviously you shave and then you put the tattoo on. And it says, ink box tattoos don't work well with dense hair. Small amounts of hair are fine, but if people refer to you as hairy or Chewbacca like, then you might not want to, then you might want to shave before application. As you can see, my hair is very light. You can't even see that it's on there. Um, I have very, very fine hair, so it's okay. Make sure you keep your tattooed area away from the rest of your body, for example. If you have a tattoo on your wrist, which is probably where I'm going to have it, and you sleep with your wrist under your head, you will transfer the tattoo onto your face. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> I will have it twice. Before applying your tattoo, you can exfoliate the area to get rid of dead skin. I'm just going to get an exfoliating glove. 
because I think I have exfoliated today, but we'll just do it anyway. So I'm just gonna rub it. There we go, that's that done, sorted. <laughs> okay. Peel the white backing off the ink box to reveal the adhesive. Right, here's the tattoo. It says, love. Uh, Hulk style. The black side and the white side. Peel the white backing. So I was right, I was, I was right. I'm peeling. Oh, sexy. Oh, this is sick. So they must have done this with a laser cutter. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, it's got this like weird blue stuff. Stick the ink box to your skin, sticky side down. So I've got to make sure that the love is in the place that I want it to be. Oh, it's quite hard actually. I'm gonna try and get it so my mole's not in the way. All right, let's do it there. Trust myself. Sticky side down, then peel the black layer off. Got myself a new, a new armband. We peeled my skin off. Hopefully not. That would be dangerous. Put on the glove. Ooh. Oh, I hate it. Do you know, like in doctor's surgeries or like in dentists, where like they have their glove and they're like this and they do this. And they're like, get ready to get drilled. <laughs> the cloth. Got it. See, they say put the glove on and then tear it, but how are you supposed to tear it with gloves on? Dear bro, oh dear, what are we gonna do? Get my trusty nail scissors that I always use. I don't know why I use these, but I do. Oh, I have to go microwave it. <laughs> Good job I'm not doing this in the wilderness. Can you imagine doing this in the wilderness? That'd be so random. These cloth in bag and microwave for 12 to 15 seconds. I'm gonna go put this in the microwave, BRB. <laughs> Got a nice hot packet of plastic. Open the wipe. Why do they say to open everything with this glove on? Open this, open that. Damn your bossy. Open the wipe packet and dab it on the navy blue fabric square in the middle of the inbox. Being extremely careful to only dab in the navy blue fabric and not the edges around it or your skin. Dabbing, oh yeah, this is fun. Dabbing my skin. Done that. Now, next step, take the cloth out of the bag with my glove on. Ooh, it's steaming. Ooh, steamy cloth. Fold it over so it's a four by four square. So get this, four by four, I'm guessing? Square, kind of, I don't know. Press down as hard as possible with your palm for 30 seconds, making sure you cover the entire design and ease pressure and hold it firm for 15 minutes. One, two, three. I know, I know I'll use a glove now. 28, 29. 30. Then ease pressure and hold for 15 minutes. Every few minutes change the position of your hand, press down in different areas to be sure that you're supplying enough pressure on the design. Do not remove or adjust the cloth. 15 minutes is there, I'm gonna set a timer. We are red. Ugh. Ugh. After 15 minutes, peel the ink box off low and slow in the direction your hair grows. If some of the design is still stuck to your skin, Peel it after step 10, which means you'd have to wait another five minutes, let the area dry, and then gently rinse your skin off with soap and warm water. Okay, guys, I'm scared. Mm, the pain, the pain. Okay, I should have shaved. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my God, it's like peeing a plaster. It's just the sticky bits on the outside are really freaking hurting. I wanna rip it off, I wanna rip it off. Just a big tip, everybody. Friggin' shave your skin like mad, cause this is freaking hurting. Oh my God, I can't do this. Ow. Ah, uh, literally feels like someone's peeling at my skin. Probably, they probably would never sell any if they told you how painful it was. Look how much that's clinging to my skin. Look at that. I'm not exaggerating how friggin' painful this is. This is really friggin' painful. Right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. My arm really hurts now. It's actually really stinging. Not because of the tattoo, but because of how friggin' tough that is. This is the tattoo. This is a really awkward angle, but it says love. I really like it. I think it's really cute. So it is gonna develop, so it's not gonna be green, I don't think, I think it's gonna be darker. You can see a patch of red and how wrinkly my arm is because of all the patting of the, the water. Wait five minutes to let the area dry and then gently, very gently rinse your skin with soap and water. Your tattoo will take 24 to 36 hours to fully develop. We're gonna apply these tattoos while I'm waiting for this one to dry. I'm going to be using, I kinda wanna use this one. Right, I'm going to be wearing this one. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Using my sexy ass toenail scissors. Yes. Cut it out, batch. Cut out the design of your choice and remove the transparent film. She is really, really pretty. So hopefully this tattoo will be as dark as this. Take the plastic film off. Tattoo face down on the skin firmly. Wet the tattoo completely with damp 
sponge. This is basically like any tattoo. I just wanted to check if that was going to be right or not. Get this, put it on my skin, put the cloth on it. Like this brings me back to my childhood days. Oh, it's sliding off. Okay, right. I'm going to peel it off now. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Oh, it's a bit dodge. I just did it on like the side of my arm, not even in the middle. But yeah, I actually really like that. These are my tattoos. I'm just going to go wash this off now with a bit of water and I'll be back. This tattoo looks sick. I'm actually so happy with it. This tattoo I just washed off. You can't really see it lined, but this will darken. This will dark as dark as this. So these are the tattoos and I'm just going to see in a couple of weeks and see how they develop and I will update you. Hi guys, so I am back. It is the second week of the tattooing. By the way, side note, it looks like I'm wearing like a bikini top, but it's not, it's a bralette, like a halter neck at the back, yeah. So I used this for two weeks. My conclusions are the first day, the tattoo didn't really kind of darken until the next day and I applied it about midday and the next day it started to darken and actually looked like a real tattoo. So from about day two to about day four slash five, the tattoo stayed on really, really dark and it looked amazing and I loved it. So I think it's about day five and this is the tattoo on my left arm. It does actually look darker on camera, but it's actually quite light. So let me see if I can adjust the brightness. It seems to be fading a bit, as you can see like, on the end there. This bit here, the little E, seems to have kind of disappeared a little bit, but it's still going strong. It does seem to have faded quite a bit and it's only on day five and it says that this is supposed to last two weeks so maybe it does depend on the tattoo that you use. This is quite a skinny one so maybe if I've got like a thicker one and also the bleeding through the letters is still there which is annoying. It was like the ink was bleeding around the, the tattoo. It wasn't a like a downfall but I kind of was expecting it to not because I'm paying like $30 for this tattoo. But saying that, it does look like a real tattoo. And this is what it looks like now. You can still see it, but it's still quite, it's faded now. And it's, as you, if you add water to it, if you like apply water in your shower and rub it, it does come off a little bit. So it is starting to fade now. The other tattoo, which was the temporary one, you can see that it's completely gone. It lasted for a, a good three days looking really nice. And this is a temporary tattoo that I paid like one to three pounds for and it looked really really nice and i really recommend these tattoos because they do look really really pretty and they'll look really good for festivals so i'm going to link down the tattoos i actually bought because you guys need to buy them they're really really good festivals or like if you want to up your look for a day or two and you want to try something different and i don't know if this bra is like really annoying me let me put a different top on as i was saying yeah this one didn't last very long a uh, good three days it lasted it started to peel off around day three slash four it started to kind of peel off a little bit and kind of flake and then on this side this has gone nearly I haven't scrubbed it off yet, so I thought I'd show you guys before I just scrubbed it off. Um, this is after a shower. I've, I have a shower every single day, so this will probably last longer if, you, if I didn't have a shower or if, say, if like, someone was going to have this on holiday, it'll probably wear off because if you go in the water. But if you don't go in the water as much, then this would be good for like festivals and stuff. But what I loved about this tattoo is it only flaked like in certain sections, so it didn't proper like flake off in one day. So you can actually use it and it lasts. And it says on the thing that it lasts about five days and i want to say that it lasts five days because it did actually stay on my arm for five days so it lasts for a good three days but it flakes on day four and five yeah so this tattoo is really really good and i recommend them for anybody who wants to try a tattoo out there really natural this tattoo especially i really really liked but i'm actually probably gonna invest in another tattoo with the ink box because i really do like them pattern maybe a bigger one uh i do recommend these i recommend them for people who want a tattoo i recommend them for people who don't want a tattoo because i am not going to get a tattoo i don't think maybe i will maybe i won't but for now i really don't want a tattoo but i really enjoyed wearing this on my arm because people are like you got a tattoo and you didn't tell me and i'm like no, it's not real. <laughs> so it does look real. And also what I thought was really cool is because these tattoos look so real and so like nice, they don't look cheap or tacky or anything. You can actually wear them and think, I actually want to put that on my arm. So once it's gone, you can kind of get a real tattoo in the exact place. And what I like is you can buy these and place them 
anywhere and that means that if you want to say you want to want on your one on your thigh and you don't like it on your thigh you can wait a few days and it'll come off and then you can try it on your arm you can try it on your neck you can try it anywhere and that's what i really like because sometimes people get a tattoo and they get it on the wrong place so i really hope that this video was really helpful to you guys and i really hope you enjoyed that the fact that i was kind of comparing the cheap to the not so cheap tattoos and as i say this is a really fun experiment so if you guys want to try it out yourself then feel free it's really really fun i will link down all the links for inkbox and for the temporary tattoos also i hope you like my new intro <laughs> i said this in my last video i was like i hope you like, like my new intro if i if my intro is on this video it means i'm still going with the intro and i haven't changed it yet so yeah thank you for watching guys please give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel hello to all my new subscribers i really appreciate you guys so much so thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye get ready to get drilled <laughs> i'm just like oh great getting drilled actually sounds really wrong but i'm talking like dentistry talk here